What's up, Cap fam? I hope everyone enjoyed what we can all agree was a very, very much needed break. Cap TV is back again for another semester to provide you with information and pure entertainment. With this being the first show of the semester, what better way to kick it off than talking about the very one thing that people can't get enough of, and that is food. We have a lot of fun segments for you today, but more on that after this quick break. Hi, I'm not Michael Jordan. I'm Nathan Holt. You may have seen me walking around campus cleaning up trash every morning. Capital University has given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about, littering. Think about this. Many of you littering right now are under 20. Do you realize that at 20, you've only lived one fourth of your life? Imagine how much trash you'll leave if you keep going like that. Listen, you've got at least three fourths of your life to go. So don't blow it. Don't litter. If you're littering, stop it. Get some help. Capital wants to give the earth a chance. And so do I. Before joining Phi Beta, I was quite shy. Phi Beta has given me some of the most amazing friendships I could have ever asked for. It's a really beautiful thing that people can use their different art forms together collaboratively and to make something really awesome. Phi Beta has helped me grow into a person I could have never imagined myself being a few years ago and I am forever grateful. Hey, what's up guys? This is John Kerry here at WXCU Radio, and today I'm playing my radio show where I play my own music on this station, which is really cool to get to do that. And I get a bunch of feedback from callers coming in, and it really helps me with the overall mastering and other mixing aspects of the original final product. And it's a really great experience to be here, so you guys should really definitely think about joining it, because it's awesome. Every day, I believe that we take for granted just how much of a privilege it is to enjoy some of our favorite foods on a daily basis. But what if that was a privilege we no longer had? I'm gonna pose a hypothetical to you. Say you were to die tomorrow, God forbid, and you had to choose your last meal, your final meal, whatever you wanted. Just what foods would you have? Well, we went around and asked a few Capital students what they thought, and this is what they had to say. Okay, so the question is, if you were about to die, and you had the opportunity to make your last meal using anything you wanted, what would your last meal be? My last meal would be some Jamaican food. We're talking about, you know, uh, the beans with the rice, jerk chicken, Jamaican beef patties, cabbage, mac and cheese, all of that. Mm. But yeah, that's my, that's my last meal. Yeah. It's a valid answer. You see the Jamaican tattoo. Yeah, you know, I said it's a valid answer. <laughs> so, I think... Uh, my meal probably has to be some seafood, like some crab, some, some shrimp, uh, def definitely some some, uh, some sushi too in there, some seafood, definitely some good stuff like that. Uh, I'm also going to do some barbecue, at least some like brisket, just just a little <laughs> bit though, because I don't like to mix my, my seafood with my meat, like I don't, like, I don't do surf and turf, but like I have to put some seafood, you know, get some water. <laughs> like, in my palate, and then I get, and then I go on to the brisket. Right, yeah. but that's it, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so, what would your last meal be? Uh, I think my last meal would be some shrimp tacos, like some cilantro, chopped onions, and probably like some queso cheese, with a side of uh, salsa and corn chips. Yeah. You got a bev? Uh, I don't know, probably just like a strawberry smoothie, even though that's probably not the best kind. That sounds fire, that sounds fire, that sounds fire. Thank you. So, if you were about to die and you had to make a last meal, what would your last meal be? Oh, um, probably some Wagyu steak, uh, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. corn, a uh, baked potato, and then for the beverage, a virgin pina colada. Mm. Mine wouldn't be virgin. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to interview Delta Phi Epsilon on if they had a chance to create their dream last meal, what would it be? So what would your last meal be? 
So my last meal would be butter chicken, specifically from Ob India on Grandview Avenue. So good. Um, mine would absolutely be um, this place called Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in my hometown, specifically the spicy jumbo dippers meal with mac and cheese. It's so good. Um, I would definitely go with a pink heart sushi roll and a chocolate milkshake from Anne's in Anne Arundel, Maryland. Hello, there is this Italian place back in my hometown and they have really good meatballs and I would love to just have a whole bowl of meatballs um, as well as a Coke Icy. Did you guys have Bebs? Bebs? Any beverages? Yeah, yeah we came with Bebs. Bebs. Yeah, y'all need a Bebs. Y'all have to have a Bebs. Sweet tea, always. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't kill me, but unsweet tea. Specifically from either Chick-fil-A or Cane's. So good. She's made it her personality. I have. It's too good. It's too good. Kate, beverage? She I gave a beverage. Chocolate, chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. Okay. That's a good answer. So if you were sadly about to pass away and you were being granted a chance to have your last dream meal, what would be in your meal? I got to say, my hometown, Mansfield, there's a hibachi place called Wakano. Mm. Can't go wrong. Right. Go to meal every time. You got a bev? Lemonade, maybe. Lemonade from anywhere specific or a specific brand or anything like that? Nah, you can't go wrong. Yeah, that's, this is facts. So if you were about to die and you had the chance to make your last dream meal, what would you want your meal to be? Uh, I'd probably go to Buca de Beppo's and uh, just get a big thing of bruschetta and probably some, some pasta. You got a Bev? You know, I just stick with my water. Just water? I just stick with my water. Any specific brand of water? Nah, nah I'm not cool. picking. Tight, tight. Thank you. If you were about to die, and you had the opportunity to have your last dream meal, what would your last meal be? So I'm from Ethiopia, so I would probably do like injera, which is like a tortilla, but like mm. not a tortilla. And then I would have kitzvah, which is raw meat. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have a spice on the side. And then I would have like a veggie platter with like cabbage. Yeah, that's enough. Just so, <laughs> so a cabbage butter. <laughs> Wait, it's not just raw meat though. It has like it has like spices and butter and stuff like that. Okay, so seasoned raw meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has seasoned raw meat. <laughs> oh yeah, so like I said, chicken from black people or African people. Chicken. And jollof, African jollof. Oh, sambusa or samusa. It's sambusa or samusa. What else? Yeah, that's all I got right now. Yeah. A bev? What'd you say? A bev? A beverage? Oh, like pineapple juice, mango juice. Yeah. Some of those were definitely some very interesting choices, to say the least. If I had to pick, me personally, my final meal would probably be uh, hibachi go, uh, hibachi plate, fried rice, uh, chicken and steak. Gotta have some yum yum. Uh, a chicken tempura roll from Fugu Sushi uh, in Pickerington, um, some blackberries, uh, so, some fudge stripe cookies, the Keebler ones, um, and then my bev would have to be a Mango Madness Arizona. And I think that, I think that's a pretty well-rounded, you know, final meal. I'm definitely very satisfied. Um, we'll be back with more after this quick break. This is a Capital University public service announcement. No Hall Sports. It saves lives. My name is John Dooley, and this is A Touch of Beauty Salon, Barber, and Spa. 
We're located at 844 East Main Street between 17th and 18th Street, and we've been here for over a year. Just as our name suggests, we provide a full range of services for salon, barber, and spa. Our hairstylists offer the very best in relaxers, perms, hair additions, haircuts, updos, and styling packages for events. Our barbers provide razor cuts and full service haircuts. And our salon provides a premier assortment of services in professional manicures, pedicures, facials, waxing, and body wraps. We're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, and Sundays by appointment. We love walk-ins and we offer specials daily. You can visit us at atouchofbeautyhair.com. And we're back. And I know sometimes we all get super hungry, maybe a little hangry, but don't necessarily feel like eating at MDR One May. Luckily, there are a lot of great places you can use your cat bucks. One of these places is Newfangled Kitchen right on Main Street. Up next, we have an honest review of it. Take a look. What's up, guys? Today, we're going on a little excursion to Newfangled Kitchen. So Newfangled Kitchen, this was me and Albert's first time being there but it looked great the vibes were cool it was a great setup the staff was incredibly nice the conversation the banter the recommendations he told me some of the um the favorites that customers have his personal favorites some of their more underrated items it was, it was just it was just a great experience he earned his tip for sure you're not waiting that long because they're very very fast it took less than i want to say three minutes for them to assemble our food together they have a lot of cool stuff to hold your attention while you're in there like nice little knickknacks and um things to look around they had a uh dwight Schrute bobblehead that was really cool um they have merch you know we picked up some other shirts i honestly almost bought a shirt because the shirt did look cool they do have chips it's sandwiches and chips and then a drink that's usually that's, that's the setup they had in there but yeah me and albert got our food we got about to camp you sat down we opened up the food we got into it tasted great you know matter of fact i'm gonna let us tell you this is what we thought of the food okay i'm, I'm not mad at this her barbecue sauce is like real sweet i like that Mm. So this has uh, uh, provolone cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, grilled chicken, and then their uh, their barbecue sauce. I have no idea what's in this. Oh my god! No. Yeah. Out of ten, you got a rating now. Up to two bites. Okay. A 9.5 overall to 9.5 and it's all over my fingers i say it's a nine maybe nine their sides are like chips and stuff new bangle to invest in some fries some fries for buses now on the line that's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. On camera too? <coughs> so there's evidence on you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Of course, there are also a lot of other great places on campus and Main Street. Another great place I enjoy is Moshi Sushi, I believe it's called. And I also enjoy Brassica a lot. Brassica is great. Up next, I will be demonstrating how to make a quick and healthy snack for you all. We'll be right back after this break. I just want to boast about the best. I just want to boast about the best. What? K Smokehouse on Main at Champion. I just want to boast about the best. I just want to boast about the best. What? Lips, smacking ribs, and 
That was such an insightful review. I will now demonstrate for you all how to make something called overnight oats. Now overnight oats are just a quick and easy snack, uh, breakfast option, pre-workout meal, post-workout meal to have. Um, and it's really quick, really easy for, you know, I know a lot of us can be on the go um, and just going about our daily lives. So the first thing you're gonna need is uh, some oats. I'm using uh, Quaker oats, old fashioned. Um, you just want to get a, uh, about a cup or so of those in a, into a jar or a bowl or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever is handy to you. Spilling a little bit here. Don't worry about that. It happens. It's life. Get some of that in here. Gonna use my hands a little. My hands are washed, you know, cleansing. COVID is very much still active, so, you know, we got to be careful. And then, so we put this over here. We're gonna get our last minute remains and just kind of scoot those off to the side so you have your oats in here um the next thing you're going to want to do is going to get some milk um this right here um is uh silk almond vanilla um i like the uh vanilla taste that it gives um the entire meal um you could use whatever milk you know i know some people use fair life you know if they want some extra protein um and you're just gonna dump that in there next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna get uh some yogurt um, I'm using H. Obani Flip. It's the strawberry cheesecake flavor. Uh, when I'm making these, I like to keep in mind all the flavors that I'm mixing together, uh, see how well they complement each other. So, for example, uh, sometimes, you know, with the vanilla milk, I might go and uh, throw the, the Oreo Chobani Flip in there sometimes just for, you know, a little extra pop. But I'm using the strawberry cheesecake. Um, I like Chobani Flips. It's one of my favorite brands of yogurt. Um, they taste good, um, low in sugar, low in calories, and uh, they have about eight grams of protein. Um, gotta get your protein in. Ignore this, this is a Chipotle fork. Uh, just ignore it, it's, uh, I didn't have a spoon. So you're gonna go and you're gonna get your yogurt, and you're just gonna dump that in there with everything. Right, nice and easy. And with the Chobani flips, they come with your yogurt, and then in the other side are these little, like, depending on the flavor. So, for example, this is strawberry uh, cheesecake, sorry. So, it comes with like little pieces of granola, um, these little strawberry pieces. And so, we're just gonna go ahead and dump that in there, like so. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just very, very easy. What I do next, uh, get some ground cinnamon. Um, cinnamon is great for you. It's a great antioxidant as well. You're gonna pour just a couple little shakes in there, about half a tablespoon, um, just like that. Um, and then uh, you're gonna get, uh, grab some fresh fruit. You can have some fresh fruit. I like to get frozen fruit just because it's more convenient and it lasts a lot longer. Um, these are a mixed berry blend, so raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna uh, toss a couple in there. Um, I use the mixed berry blend when I use the cheesecake flavor just because I think it all goes together. I believe the flavor is a strawberry cheesecake, so those should uh, 
those should be real nice uh, i've seen other people sometimes they put peanut butter in there and other things i'm not personally a fan but if you want a little extra protein you can go and dump that in there or maybe a little saltiness to uh counterbalance the sweetness um gonna close this right and then this is it um i'm a big texture i'm a big texture person so sometimes i'll take uh uh, some granola or even just like i'll take some a couple pieces of cinnamon toast crunch and kind of put it on the top in there just to give it a little crunch and kind of offset everything so we're going to close this and they're just gonna let it sit in here you put it in your fridge the night before you wake up you leave your you leave you go and grab it and it's ready to go ready to eat the oats will absorb the milk and the yogurt and everything and it makes a it makes a really nice snack yeah you, know, you feel full you feel satisfied and yeah that is it that is overnight oats. Um, we're gonna be right back. I'm gonna toss to a quick break and then we have more coming later. Trans Arts is a safe place, a place for kids to express themselves, be free. Here you get a chance to explore who you really are, what you really like, and, and make some mistakes or you know, learn off each other or get challenged by people you see doing things, but do it in a way where you're not measured for a grade, so it, can, it gives you a chance to own it and go into your own kind of creative side. So it's an opportunity to see other people thriving in their own strengths. Anything, any problems going on at home or anything like that, come here, feel like a family, feel togetherness. We create a, a family, we create a space, you know, for you don't have to be a, a real fine artist, but you can come in an art room and make crafts or you can make something or you can be creative you can paint come and just check out the environment see if you vibe with it like it it's a social and and a learning skill so it's really i think it's really essential so this is a new segment that we'd like to introduce it's called Jaden's a list this is where we take a category um and we talk about our our top fives. So because because this show is food, um, we're doing our top five favorite cereals. Keep in mind this is our personal opinions. This isn't like the best uh, cereals, but this is our favorites. And we're gonna compare, contrast, debate, agree. I don't think we'll be doing much agreeing. We're but, not gonna agree at all. Okay, but uh, by the way, this is Albert. Just in case uh, the viewers didn't know. Uh, so for my number one, actually, I'm going to start at number five. Number five, I have Fruity Pebbles. Now, a lot of people have Fruity Pebbles a, a lot higher. This is why I have Fruity Pebbles at the five. Fruity Pebbles is only good like a minute and 30 seconds after you pour it. And then it turns in, in, into ghoul, into mush. And I don't, I don't like yeah. mushy cereal. You know, that's not me. That's the only reason I have it so low. What's I your five? What's your five, Albert? My five is Honey Nut Cheerios. Mm. Not because it's the worst in my top five, mm -hmm. but it's that good. But it should have been number one. Somebody was telling me I should have put it up higher. Thank you for that. But yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios kind of the best cereal out of all of these except for rice krispie treats for uh, reasons that you don't need to know right now okay what's your number four my number four is actually honey nut cheerios i have it just See? one ahead you know what i'm saying you agree on that honey nut cheerios are very good um and, and they're they're a staple they're iconic um and i love the commercials um a good commercial goes a long way in terms of the way i enjoy cereal uh and so uh yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios is up there for me. Um, we should have put Reese's Puffs. Remember the commercial? Reese's yeah, the wrapping. Yeah, uh, peanut butter chocolate <laughs> flavor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Go back to the list. Uh, yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, it lowers your cholesterol, I think, maybe. I uh, hope that's what they say. So, <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your number four? Okay, number four for me, I like to consider this as the original cereal because it's cornflakes. You can do a lot of things. It's versatile. It's like a potato. You can do a lot of things. You can spread it on chicken when you're doing it, something like that. But yeah, with this with some sugar early in the morning, like 12, that's early for me. You just eat it. It's, it's pretty good if... Cornflakes with sugar. It sounds a lot like Frosted Flakes. <laughs> but I'll leave no, it. But I'll it, leave it, it alone. It is Frosted Flakes. <laughs> they like Frosted copied Flakes. <laughs> Cornflakes. Okay. All right. My number three. I have Cookie Crisp. Very, 
very underrated cereal. Slim underrated healthy. cereal. Great commercial. It's just cookies and milk. It's you can't unhealthy. you can't go wrong with cookies and milk. It's unhealthy. Okay, but you know, it's enjoy your life. No. Okay. It's unhealthy. What's your number? <laughs> number three. <laughs> this is the frosted flakes. That's <laughs> different. Okay. For a reason, okay. Chocolate Frosted Flakes, right? Mm -hmm. It's different from the original Frosted Flakes because this is this is boring, okay? But chocolate Frosted Flakes, it likes a little, it's a little treat, like a little something extra than just Frosted Flakes. Chocolate Frosted Flakes. So my number two, I have Frosted Flakes, boring. OG staple. Boring. Um, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. The way it makes the milk taste is, is great. It's nice and sweet. Um, and I really don't have to do so much explaining because it's frosted flakes. So everybody knows. Mm. Cocoa puffs. I'm not mad at that. It's frosted yeah, okay. Yeah. That's it's okay. cocoa puffs. Cocoa for cocoa puffs. Yeah. All right. It's cocoa for cocoa puffs. <laughs> That's what I said. Y'all don't think you did. Anyways. <laughs> Number one, I have cinnamon toast crunch. Now, if you don't have cinnamon toast crunch or frosted flakes in your one or two, then you might be eating cereal wrong. So Slowly cinnamon down. toast crunch is my number one. The uh, the commercials the commercials are great. Uh, the way the cinnamon milk after you finish your uh, cinnamon toast crunch and you go and get the milk and it's, it tastes like I actually oh, don't like it just that. tastes so. I don't like the milk after. The it cereal. just tastes so good. Uh, <laughs> let's look at your number one. Let's see what you do. It's like. a rice krispie treat. <laughs> like, it's okay. Let me explain. Okay, this right here. It's just simple to the point. It's just cereal. No extra sugars like your unhealthy list right here. It's just simple. It's like it's for my health because obviously you like sugar. Sh sugar, 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 sugar. Yeah, we need to go to the gym more. But cereal is just a little treat. You know no, what I'm saying? I'm not, eating you know, you know, I'm not eating cereal every day. You know, it's, it's my little yes, treat. He is. I rock. Mm -hmm. But to eat Rice Krispies every day is insane. It's like not even enjoy. It's like, are you enjoying it? Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> it sounds like you're just it. eating it to, to eat it. Yeah, because it's fun. It's Keep in mind, Rice Krispies and Rice Krispie treats are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> they're not, they're not the same they're thing. They're made the same. Okay. No, they're not. They're not the, there's <laughs> rice no proof on treat, that. Rice Krispie treats, um, they're good. Uh -huh. They taste Obviously. good. Rice Krispies taste like like just Amazing. like rice puffs Amazing. in milk. I like rice. I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, not my number one favorite the, cereal. It's not though. my number one. Honey Nut Cheerios is. So why would you put Honey Nut Cheerios at like, number five? Because I'm lazy. I didn't want to switch it, okay? That's the only reason. <laughs> All right, that's the only reason. Now, let's talk about cereal commercials. Okay. Now, best commercials, obviously, are Honey Nut Cheerios. They got the best commercials. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at that. Solid. I'm not mad at that. Cocoa Puffs. Next. I think cooking, you know, I think uh, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch commercials are better than uh, Cocoa Puffs. Because it's, it's the little squares, and they're jumping off the diving board yeah, into the milk. Yeah, those are creepy. It's good, and, and they're, they're like creepy. Oh, they, they, they eat each other because <laughs> they're that good. That's cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> they eat no, see cocoa puffs like cuckoo for cocoa puffs. That's memorable. He's and like schizophrenic. Not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the point. He literally right. loses his mind. Yeah, because they're that good. Okay, now what's next? Um, I would say cornflakes. Frosted, no, fla frosted Flakes commercials are cool. It's just the, you know, they're the great. classic. They're, and they had a lot of, like, athletes come and do their commercials that's with them. True. So that's what I remember as a kid. That's what makes it memorable. I didn't have it in my top five cereals. Mm -hmm. Lucky Charms commercials are good. True, I don't like true. Lucky Charms that much. Me personally, they're not really for me just because the marshmallows, uh, they taste weird on my teeth. No, um, but, I yeah. So, I... You know what? Yeah, solid list. Yeah. Solid yeah. List. Yeah. Solid list. Uh, right. Thank you all for joining us today. That's going to be all from us. Thank you for watching this delicious <laughs> episode of Cat TV. See you next time. Oh, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>